and you are starting out on your coaching business journey, you probably feel like you're this little hamster wheel running on the wheel and you just want to juggle between your paycheck life and your startup coaching business life. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. And just with uh, some simple strategies, you can keep yourself organized, stay calm, and rock and grow and keep hustling to start and grow your business. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and hit the bell so that every time I have a new content, you'll get notified. What's up? Okay, lady, take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. If you are like me, who's trying to juggle between two jobs, and you notice that you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then today's video is going to actually help you to stay calm, plan ahead, and stay organized because that's what entrepreneur life is all about, right? Um, if you are like me who have two jobs, chances are your schedule is pretty tight. And one of the things that I have learned over the course of my entrepreneurship life is that just kind of planning ahead and knowing what's upcoming and have that on your schedule is going to help you tremendously so that you can know exactly when a particular post is going to come out or emails or anything that you want to get in front of your audience. You have a more strategic way of staying up and showing up. So in the past, I've really, I call myself a planner addict because I have collected so many planners. You would not believe how many I have behind this uh, divider. It was so much that I need to have two shelves. So one of those days, I'm going to take you behind the scene to see my really messy planner shelf. So I have managed to went from planner to planner to planner. And so I was never able to find my planner piece for whatever reason. And sometimes, you know, um, I think that it's a way that universe wants us to look at some really serious uh, uh, epiphany in our life. And so like earlier this year, what I have discovered was that after I had purchased, so this is a happy planner, by the way, if you're a happy planner fan, hey, hey y'all. Uh, I went from happy planner to uh, Aaron Comdren to uh, there's another one that's called, oh my gosh, you know, I'm like totally blanking out. <laughs> So if you, which one is your favorite planner? If you're a paper person, put it into the comment. I would love to hear which planner that you're currently using. And I would love to hear what is your, do you have your planner piece? That's a big question, right? <laughs> do you have your planner piece? I don't know. I could never find my planner piece. And again, I think that's a way that universe is just telling us that, hey, Michelle, it's okay not to have planner piece because as a coach, you know, that's not, that's not something that's, uh, that's for you. And that's okay. Don't judge yourself over that. Right. So over the years, I have gone through so many different type of planner. Um, and I keep switching from one planner to another, and I could never find the one that really keeps me happy. So like, um, I went like, this is a, uh, this is a happy planner. So like I wrote like a couple of pages, right, in the monthly plan. And then I have like, I even, I even bought these uh, really beautiful like dividers to, to use. And that just did not, it didn't work. Like they, they say that if you um, dress up your planner a little bit and that will spark or motivate you wanted to use it. Mm -hmm. I bought a lot of stickers, wasted a lot of money, but it still didn't work. And so 
earlier this year, I actually discovered something really cool and which I have not ever tried before. I've always had, I have always had in, in an iPad iPad is something that I always had in my life. You know, I have like first generation, second generation, and I often use it to like watch Netflix. <laughs> so I do watching Netflix. Um, and so I hardly ever use my iPad for a lot of different things. And then so earlier this year, I was going through a lot of different YouTube channel. And that's something that I do whenever I'm in a treadmill or working out. So I was just, I was just being on the YouTube channel and I'm like scrolling through and watching all these YouTuber and influencer, um, putting out the content, great content. And I came across digital planning. I'm like, oh my gosh what the hell was that? <laughs> so I decided that instead of going out and buying another planner, I am going to really use my iPad for and put it into a good use. So of course, once you decided on something, you're going to spend more dollars on it, right? So here is what I have. This is an iPad second generation uh, Apple Pen. So I've been using Apple Pen and my iPad for my planning life. So this is really like the, my first time ever jumping onto a YouTube station and just sharing my passion as a planner addict. And my goal and my focus is that I am hoping because my, you know, that I, I'm an entrepreneur and I, I, I coach people and I talk about motivation and I talk about how to organize your, your uh, content and all that stuff that I, I'm teaching other women coaches. And one of the things that I'm really good at is organizing my own personal life like, and my business life. That's how I was able to manage two jobs, my full-time job as a clinical pharmacist and also my um, coaching business life. And so every time when people, when, when the coaches ask me, like, Michelle, you have two jobs. How do you do everything? How do you show up on social media? How do you create all these beautiful posts? And how do you have a podcast? How do you have a blog? And how do you still sleep? <laughs> and that's probably the, the most requested question is, how do you organize your life and still have, you know, get some sleep? Do you ever sleep? And that's one of the biggest questions that my audience is asking. Do you ever sleep? So I am committed. So those of you who's been following me or you've been like, you, you once in a while, you'll see me pop into a YouTube channel and like, she's just gone, right? So this year I am committed. Starting with this video, I am going to commit to do a YouTube at the very least. I would like to do very least um, once a week. You can find me here on YouTube. And we are going to do a coaches life organization planning balance, whatever you want to call it. So you can find me and I'm going to share a lot of my planning strategies and how I stay organized between and juggling between between two jobs and while producing all these amazing and beautiful content. So if this is something that you would like to watch more, and if there's any specific topic that you feel that you're drawn to, you have a question about, um, perhaps you are a woman coach and you're juggling between a lot of different things, I would love to hear from you. So just go ahead and drop your comments down below, topics that you would love to hear, and I will, I will be sure to bring more content. <laughs> You're going to help me using my iPad. So just real quick, a tutorial of what I'm using it for now with my iPad, since I'm getting rid of my paper planner and moving into a digital life. Um, there's a couple of things that I use. So this is iPad 11 Pro or Pro 11. Um, it's a good size for me to, to pack into my bag and travel with it. I can just stick it into my backpack and carry it with me everywhere I go. A um, couple of things that I use on this particular iPad that help me um, in my coaching life is that I have apps that I create all my content. I, I organize all my life around it. So I'm a big fan of Notion. 
which is a data database um, app, note-taking app. And I, I'm going to do another tutorial on, on how I create and organize my life on Notion. I absolutely love it. So if Notion wants to sponsor me, I'll be more than happy to talk about it. And you are going to get me uh, started on this. Um, because once I start using Notion, it was like no turning back. <laughs> That's how powerful it is. Um, so I really love Notion. And so all, Notion is something that I use on iPad a lot. And I also bought one of the keyboard. So this is a Logitech keyboard. I didn't end up getting the, the, the Apple keyboard. So basically you snap it on and then voila, you can turn your iPad into a laptop. How cool is that, right? This is something, another thing that I have discovered and I thought, oh my gosh, like where have I been all this year? Um, and then you can al always carry your Apple Pen and there's a magnet here, you can charge it and it stick to it. So this is my basic setup and basic tool for digital planning. So if this is something that you would like to follow me and watch more and support me on this digital planning journey, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because moving forward, you're gonna see a lot of me on this channel talking about the digital planning, the digital planning, the digital planning. Okay, you got the point. <laughs> All right, with that, Thank you so much for watching and be sure to come back. And if there's any topic that you believe that you would feel interested and in, you wanted to hear more about, I would love for you to put it in the comment and let me know. And I will make sure to bring and share all of that digital planning life with you as a coach. Right. I know. I know. How cool is that? Okay. Bye.